loss of scaling does work on 4K, but it's not worth it if you have a monitor or a screen that's less than 60 hertz. So you want to get something over that. But yes, it does work on 4K. So here, my output display is using the 3080 on this 4K TV. And generating the frames on the 3080. Then the game is actually rendering in the 4080 right there. Uh, here, you can see the reflection. So let's just get back onto it. And then my settings for for the game itself. I put it to quality because it will kill itself if it's not on quality. It goes one FPS and I don't wanna I don't wanna ever wanna touch that down. It looks good enough. And I have frame gen off. I had that on earlier, it looked good, but it was just buggy. It was it was very buggy. I see too much artifact when it has the in-game frame gen on. And then everything max, path tracing, crowd density high, everything max lighting, every other thing. Then video. Uh yeah. Three eight forty by two one sixty. Then the reflex latency, I could turn that up. I could I could enable that. It looks loss of scaling does a better job than the in-game in my opinion. Than the in-game frame gen. But everyone has their preference, right? And see how that works. So what I mainly look for is at the reticle, at the crosshair. If you see anything like buggy, like it produces it produces too much, it doesn't do that on 4K. So I am fortunate that I cannot see that, even with the zoom in. And the oiliness, like, artifacting oily artifacting that looks like an fsr it looks fine it just the flu it just makes it look fluid but it's not worth it if you have a monitor less than that has less than 60 hertz so you can see here it's on times two we can generate more but it's not worth it with this 60 hertz tv honestly yes it works but not worth it at my current, with this current TV setup.